So we wanted to give you a really quick room tour just in case you were thinking about going on a carnival cruise and getting the just most basic suite. So here you go, enjoy! guys i am so excited to be on the vlog because i haven't seen you guys in a night i mean well like in a day because yesterday we didn't vlog we had just got here and we wanted to just take that time to just relax and you know fill our way around the cabin and stuff like that so we're headed out it's like 11 o'clock in the morning and i am already drinking some wine and y'all guess what i'm seasick I'm not gonna lie, I am literally seasick. Like, like we're, we're having a day of, at the sea and um, my body is just like WTF right now. So another thing that's different about this boat is last time we went on a cruise, there were so many black people. This time, there's like a, a fourth ratio of blacks to white. So that's really new for us, but we're still having a good time, I mean, Obviously, diversity doesn't equal that you can't have a good time, but yeah. Okay, so we are officially at brunch now, y'all. Um, the great thing about brunch is that you can literally get anything off this menu and it's completely free. Like, that just rocks. It, it blows my mind how you're able to get anything that you want and it's completely free. So, I think I'm gonna get the salmon for lunch today. Oh, they have starters on the back. Yummy. So all of this, look at this chicken salad. This is just my starter. Completely free. This is chicken. Well, honestly, you paid for it already. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. More, more. I put this cane, pancake, the hash browns, scrambled eggs, steak. Some more potato beans. Looks like some type of bruschetta. Man, that's good. Macaroni steak. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Salmon. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Thank bon you. Bon appetit. Can we have ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm. I got mac and cheese with steak. That's very tender. Hash browns and salmon and like bacon. One thing I really like about cruises is that you're able to like really rekindle your sex life and your romance and stuff like that. Even if you have a romantic relationship, I feel like cruises are a great time or vacations in general are good for relationships because you're able to have that reflection time about how much you really love that person. So I just love vacations for that purpose and particularly I like cruises because we, it's not so much to do where we're getting distracted. Well, there is so much to, to do, but you have so much time to do it because they leave everything opens really, really late. <laughs> Just when you thought Mexico was cheap. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we finna go to the. Um, it's 62 degrees outside. It's freezing on this cruise, which kind of sucks because the last cruise we went on, it was hot. Is so people still wet. No, we're finna go to. Yes, it is. The spa and get a pedicure. She's making us go to the spa and pay seventy dollars for a pedicure. With a fifty dollar off coupon, twenty dollars. That's a lot for thank you. The the, it's, the Asian people do it for two dollars. No, they don't. Got the twenty dollars wrong. <laughs> anyway. uh, I like when she tickles my neck or her mouth. It's always funny. That sounds nasty. 
Mm. I'm doing it on camera, bro. Cut mm. that out. Cut that out. I'm not cutting that out. I had a dream that my uncle Bug had killed me. Why are you? Because, like, I saw him kill somebody else, and like he killed me. Like he told me, like he basically, like he was like, "Girl, if you run, I'm gonna kill you." But I was like, I was scared, so like, and I wasn't gonna kill him. I wasn't gonna run anyways, or I wasn't gonna tell nobody anyways because I was. Probably not, but I wasn't gonna tell nobody anyways because I was scared. But I just took off running out of like instinct. I don't know, so I just I took off running, and then he found me. Like he, it took him like four hours, but he was. And you were you were near death because like every time I would text you, I mean every time I would see you it was like when I was a ghost. Like you were trying to move on or you had like a new girlfriend and I would be like screaming at you like as a ghost. Like you would hear my voice and like you would just be like, y'all gotta go, you gotta go. And I was crying, you were crying, my mom was crying. That's so weird. It was so sad. Hmm. I don't know if I would be happy to see you as a ghost or sad that you even like came. Mm. I think at first I'd be happy, like, oh, yeah, you're back. But I wouldn't let you move on. And I wanted to let you move on, but I just couldn't. Like, I would be screaming, no. And you would tell me to leave you alone. You were like, leave me alone. Like, you would scream, leave me alone. And then I would. And then you would cry some more. And then I would cry some more. And then I would come back. Let's just try not to be cute. Yeah. So we're about to go and um, take some photographs because... We were going to take photographs ourselves with our tripod and stuff, but it never really got sunny today. So there really wasn't any photo opportunities. So we're just going to go take some photos and buy them. And we're, we're in matching outfits today. Kind of. I mean, they're not the exact same shirt, but... Matching. Matching, matching. Pink on, pink on, pink on, pink on, pink on, pink on. And jeans. I think I might put on some darker lipstick. We just went and took... We usually don't take professional photos, but we went and took some... Because we were like... They can't do nothing. I can't do it. No, but mm -hmm. they can. <laughs> they did good because we're matching. Um, and then we're going to get ready for dinner and we're going to take some more photos. Neither one of us are hungry, but we're probably still going to go. Like, I just want to go to a show or something um, and, like, I don't know, go to activities. Because, like, I'm not hungry. And, like, I overate already and I'm disgusted by the thought of food. But I was trying to get <laughs> They might have something that I want, like, like uh, creme brulee. Yeah, and I was trying to get buzz, but... I can't because I guess I ate too much. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's like, yeah, if you eat too much, the, the liquor is just sitting on top of the food, like, uh, not happening. So, yeah, he cleans up quickly. Every time we leave our room, we come back and it's snatched. And, like, I mean, they're cleaning our room like two, three times a day. Yeah. Every time you come back, you're like, Whoa. thanks. That's amazing. Y'all, guess what? He left the frog. It looks like a coochie frog. Baby, look. So cute. It's a frog. So we're gonna put on some more formal clothes and we're gonna go to the formal dinner and take some pictures. Yay! I'm gonna switch out my lipstick. She's gonna switch out her lipstick. I'm gonna switch out my chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> Glass 
Oh no, she's gonna have to go nowhere with that, but you can told me this thing about my uncle that he was so fat that I really don't believe this now. She said that he was so fat that his stomach started splitting right here in his belly button and they would have to put Vaseline on it every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true baby. That's not true. He would get stretch marks. Like you would she in my mind I'm picturing like goo like pussing out of his stomach like goo. It's so dumb. <laughs> my mom said anything for me to stop eating. <laughs> Baby, you better stop eating. Your stomach gonna split open. <laughs> Pretty much. And I was picturing like a big blob of Vaseline <laughs> going on it to stop it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it. Oh, Are y'all all the all the Are you all supposed to hold it? I don't know. Yeah. Everybody, hold your glass. Up. I wanna test the love and happiness and forever and lasting marriages and relationships.
comedy show. We should go to the club because it's lit, but we're going to the comedy show. You ready for this, babe? Yep. You think it's gonna be funny? Yeah. Last cruise we went was really funny, but this is a different comedian, obviously. Yeah, I think he's Mexican. Hispanic, babe. Hispanic. It snuck in or anything like that, because it gets pretty wild during these shows, all right? Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the young man I'm about to bring on stage for you, he's been in entertainment for over 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Colombian Connection, Mr. George Solano! Asking important questions. We always ask stupid shit, like, what color do you like? <laughs> what kind of food do you like? Guys, we gotta start asking the important shit, like, exactly, at what temperature? Do you want me to keep the fucking air conditioning for the rest of my life? More food! He said, you heard him? Oh, yeah. We'll <laughs> see! Cookies. Alright y'all, so we just got back to the room, just took a shower, um, Rio's on the TV. Start making the shower right now. Today was really awesome. We did a lot today. We went to the comedy club, um, and it was so freaking hilarious. We went to this show called Divas, that was awesome. Ate so much food, I literally felt like I was going to die today. Took a nap, woke back up. Went to take some pictures. Pictures came out awesome. Um, we're definitely going to buy some. I'll show you which ones we purchased um, at the end of this video. And um, tomorrow, we're spending a great, great day in at Catalina Island. And the next day, we're going to Mexico. So, turn up. I'm really excited. Um, this cruise has been awesome so far. And I'm just like... Excited for tomorrow. Every day is just so much fun when you're on a cruise. Like, it's just so much fun. It's just never a dull moment. Hey. Huh, babe? You hit my roll with my bro. Even when you're just like chilling, it's fun. So, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, <laughs> if you watched the end of this video, you are the real MVP. Storm Chasers, stand up. Okay? Peace.